if you're still in four ER and you're anything like me, you'll be sick and tired now of fizzling, trying to punch your way through just to nick one ER. You're always coming down to damage for your wins or losses. Well, for me today, I decided that I'd had enough and I just pulled the trigger and I jumped to five ER and I didn't have keys for absolutely nothing else at all. I'm going to show you how I got on today. So stay tuned. This might just help you out. First things first, guys, you'll hear my voice is a bit broken at the moment. That's because we've been streaming every single day for warships and my voice is just burnt out from the hype that we've been having and the fun we've been having on stream. So if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button, come and hang out with us live on stream where we play warships every single day without fail lose or win we stream every single day for warships we don't see you there yesterday i just had enough of constantly burning out and fizzling to the 4 er layouts and every time i got matched with a five i found the attack a lot easier i was actually beating the 5 er players when i was a four so i thought well why not just jump to five where the bases are easier to hit the ers are easiest to get and frankly it's just more fun you know who who loves fizzling all the time not me so i jumped to 5 er this is the base layout that i threw together a bit quick obviously we've got max rocket launches we've got all the mines um i do have shock mines i've just hidden most of them well all of them at a glance uh, obviously got the four shock launchers uh, for tech tree obviously maxed everything at 2 er except the gbe of skip zookas we've got max cavan uh, skip the multi node skip the next gbe uh, flares at tick four uh, max rocket launchers, max shot mines. I uh, got tick two smokes. Uh, I skipped rocket choppers as well. Uh, max DVD. But that's it. That's all I've got. And I've jumped to 5 VR. Uh, I'm a couple of chests or a chest away from grabbing the shock bomb, which is probably the time when I'm going to become really competitive again and be able to push a bit harder and get back into diamonds. Been in and out of diamond over the last few days on stream. We, at least, we get in and then we fall out. We get in and we fall out. Um, that was 4 ER. I'm hoping 5 ER is going to change our luck a bit on that front and hopefully push on to 22 in the next couple of days. But I'm going to show you the attack strats um, that I've been using at 5 ER, even though I've got none of the toys. So this layout is semi similar to the ones at 4 ER, where it's got sort of the, the big legs at the front. Um, this guy obviously got boom cannons, but literally all we're doing is dropping one boat of heavies, and then four boats of gramps. Once the heavies get to the top of the beach and get stuck in, we can then drop down another boat as they start to fizzle. And then once they get through that first ER, we're we'll dropping another boat out right to the right with Kavan. And then it's basically the same attack as what it is at 4ER, where you're just managing the hit, you know, feeding the heavies in for distraction, using that second wind um, to replace the heavies. Uh, don't use it before you've lost six heavies. Um, if you do, then you'll end up with level one rifles. Um, which are obviously no good for nothing so make sure you've lost at least six heavies before you start spamming second wind so yeah once these guys have found their way through get on to the last couple of er's once the rocket launch and that goes down we just send the hail mary and get on to the last er and take it down for the win this one is another similar one obviously this one's got all the rocket launchers poking up front a bit more i actually messed this one up quite a bit i ended up dropping down all my heavies i had them loaded in the wrong order we dropped them in the wrong order it's not a biggie same principle still applies obviously using second wind to distract the rocket launchers and stuff the thing you need to remember is is you don't need hundreds of heavies up front you only need a couple two or three even just to distract the rocket launchers and the shock launchers so they're not shooting at the gramps you don't need a whole huge wall of heavies to do that literally just one or two dotted about here and there in front of the gramps is enough to distract those buildings long enough for the gramps to deal the damage to them and get them down don't worry about uh, running down low with full of heavies if you end up down with i don't know say four or five heavies then yeah use second wind but if you've still got you know five or six heavies and there's still a couple more coming up don't use your second wind yet just wait you'll realize that you don't actually need to you know like i say spam hundreds of them in a wall because all that happens when you do that is all of the heavies will converge on the first row of mines or the first machine gun flamethrower and they will just succumb to all of the splash damage which means you'll, you need, you'll need to use second wind again and you might not have the gbe for that at that point you know you could you lose all of your heavies and have no gbe for more second wind learn to use the second wind sparingly wait until the opportune moment where you're going to get most value from it and then go for it from there for the layout for this one i've gone i've put the single er down over here obviously make them split their troops they're gonna have to go one and one down here to get that and then they're gonna have to clear the mortars and then the sniper towers which leads them up towards this cannon as they're doing that as they're heading towards that cannon clearing these sniper towers and stuff what you'll find is is the people using gramps or even zookas some of them will then peel off and start targeting 
in the machine guns over here and the flamethrowers. As they do that, we've got the mines placed in you know, little clumps across that gap so that they walk across those and help them fizzle there. The more times you can force your opponent to use second wind, um, the better, the faster they burn through that, those second winds. The second wind gets expensive, the better, the more chances are they're going to fizzle out and you know you can win on damage um, even if you can't get the ERs. Try to think about your layout. Obviously, rocket choppers are quite strong at the moment especially at 5ER where people have got the shot bomb and the RT. You want to make sure that none of these defenses are touching because that's um, extra value there for the RTs. Also make sure your cannons and your machine guns are placed in such places that they're going to pop a rocket chopper or two. Um, but also make sure they're not close enough together that they can catch two or three cannons in one shot bomb. The less value they get for using their GBE each time, the better. Um, the more likely they're going to have to use more GBE and eventually force a fizzle. So think about those things as you're building the base layout and you should be all right i'm parked up i'm waiting for my next couple of chests that's going to take me to a shock bomb and then i shall push then and get back in the diamond ready for tomorrow's live stream guys i will be live at sort of lunchtime again from tomorrow uh uk time 12 one o'clock we go live through until three two three four o'clock depending on how it goes yeah so come and see us tomorrow chat on the stream Look forward to meeting you smash that like and subscribe check out the video on screen now if you're looking for some 4 er tips 4 er attack strategies I've got that in the video on screen now. So check that one out. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.